And we're live. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. Be happy. And we are here being happy, not worrying, with Erica and Justin, the founders of You Are Creators, streaming in live from their lovely home in Midwest America. They specially requested, yeah, hands up. <laughs> Winning. <laughs> they specially requested this song because we wanted to start off with the mantra that there is nothing to worry about because we can create everything that we want in this beautiful life. Right, guys? Holy that yes. is absolutely right. Don't worry. So we are streaming live to everyone who is tuning in tonight for episode number 15 of Sammy D TV. I am so excited about this episode because if it weren't for the power of attraction, for the law of attraction, which is what we are discussing tonight, I wouldn't be here today in front of this camera speaking to you. When I first saw you are creators on YouTube, I knew that I was going to work with them. And here we are. The proof is in the pudding because when you put your mind to something and you think positively and you act positively and you believe, you shall receive. So Justin and Erica, thank you so much for being here tonight. How are you feeling? So thank we are so me. excited. So Hi everybody. We are like so super thrilled. We're excited um, to be here, Sammy. We love Sammy. We do love like, Sammy. Like, how can you not love Sammy, right? Absolutely. So we are like super excited. We're super excited to talk to you all. We're super excited to see all the questions and answer the questions. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's do it. We are rocking and we are rolling. So to everyone who's tuning in tonight for the first time, I just want to go through some housekeeping so that we can keep a clean house up in her. So we are streaming live on YouTube. If you are logged into YouTube, you can comment live on the right-hand side. Justin and, and Erica are going to be graciously answering all of your questions. So feel free to ask questions throughout the episode so that for the last 10 to 15 minutes, we can answer any of your urging questions that you have about the law of attraction and creating a life you love. Second, I'm a shameless self-promoter, I can't lie. Feel free to promote this episode on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Y'all see the sharing buttons below. The link that goes direct to this episode is tinyurl.com backslash SammyDTV hyphen EP15. So share it with your mom, share it with your cousin, share it with your neighbor, share it with everybody who wants to learn about the law of attraction. Third, we, um, because we're streaming live, if for any reason we have a technical difficulty, we will be back shortly. Also, we are 10 seconds ahead, so if we ask a question to you guys, we might just wait a few seconds so that you can respond in the comments. And then, beyond that, guys, have fun. Listen in. Erica and Justin, every single time I speak to them, my vibration, and we're going to talk about that in tonight's episode, but my vibration goes from here to here. That's why I'm so high today, because we were actually speaking last night. So I am so glad that you are tuning in live to this episode of Sammy DTV. <laughs> and before we jump into the five transformational tips that Justin and Erica will be sharing with us about how to shift ourselves within to create a life we love externally, I want to ask Justin and Erica a very candid question because I've gotten to know them, I've gotten to know what their life story is, how they've come to be where they are. They're a beautiful married couple, they have amazing children, they have three boys. Aw, thank you. I, I've seen all three of them on Instagram, they're beautiful. Um, and they're currently sitting in the finished basement of the suburban home that they manifested. Three years ago, they were not in this home. They were both working full time, and they were struggling to decide what's next in our life, what feels right for us. And I know that there was a turning point for you both when you discovered the law of attraction, when you discovered the power that you have within. So before we jump in, into tonight's questions, Justin and Erica, whether one of you wants to answer, both of you wants to answer, Tell us a little bit more about when that turning point was and how things escalated to where you are today. Yeah. Okay, well, um, man, my life 
changed, I'm talking about upside down completely, 180 degrees, after I seen the movie The Secret. After watching that movie, a light bulb just went off in my head, and it was as if I always knew this information but somehow forgot it. And after watching that movie, I was so excited. So my goal was to share this information with the world and let as many people as possible know what we all can really do. Yeah. You know, I think it, um, for us, we had gotten to a point where we hit rock bottom yeah. and there was nowhere else that we couldn't even go any farther. We weren't spending time together. We were always tired. We were upset a lot because of the stress that we had in our lives. And so, for us, we had not only, when we saw The Secret, not only did it open up our eyes or allowed us to become awakened, but we were also at a place where we felt like we needed help. We needed some type of change. So at that place in our lives, when we saw this, it was like, wow, this is what we needed. And, you know, um, I have a background in substance abuse. And, and one of the things that we talked about or um, one of the things that we taught our um, my clients who were substance abuse addicts was if you once you hit rock bottom, you can only go up from there, you know. And so we were at that point. We were at that point where we were exhausted. A lot of things wasn't, weren't working out the way that we um, expecting, expected them to. And so we were just like, okay. We need something. We need a change. You know, what we were doing before wasn't really working for us. And so, like Justin said, the secret just totally, that the secret was that change that we needed. Exactly. And from then on out, we were like, okay, so we can control this, you know. And um, it's just, it took off from there. Well, you know what? Um, growing up, my favorite Bible scripture was, as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. And... For some odd reason, it seems like I always knew that this power existed, that when we train our mind to be something, then we attract things similar to that. And, man, I mean, this law of attraction thing has been my passion ever since. I love talking about this more than anything. I study this nonstop, every single day, all night, and my goal is is to bring joy and peace and and purpose to as many people as possible. For sure. Amazing, amazing. One of my favorite quotes, uh, Erica, it's about hitting rock bottom, and it's, my breakthroughs come from my breakdowns. Mm -hmm. And there's such a beauty to surrendering to, quote, what's negative, realizing that with the problem comes the solution, you right. know? Right. The problem is a present, or it's the box. And then when we open it, it's the gift of the solution. But the secret is recognizing our power to open it. So that's what we're here to talk about tonight. And I love your story so much. And I know that it's so much deeper than what you just shared and so relatable to everyone tuning in right now because we are all human beings on this planet doing the best that we can and creating joy in every moment. So thank you so much for your story and for sharing it with the world so that they can continue to live their story authentically and compassionately. Thank you, Sammy. <laughs> so our first question. In my bookshelf somewhere are books about the law of attraction. So for all of those, uh, for all of you tuning in, I'm sure you realize, if you're tuning in, you're already interested in the law of attraction, and you realize it's about what you think. It's about what are you telling yourself? What are you telling the world? But there, there's something deep. There's something more deep to it, right, Justin? And Absolutely. what is the secret to the law of attraction that a lot of people forget or don't even know about? Well, you know what? The key is to monitor how you feel. Your feelings act as a magnet, and when you feel happy, you attract things that make you happy. This information is so simple that most people don't seem to understand it, but really, when you feel sad or depressed, you will attract more things to make you feel that way. It's, it's so simple. So for me, my secret is, I believe, starting my day off right. Mm -hmm. 
starting my day with positive energy, with love, with gratitude. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe, for everything you have given me. Thank you for my my lungs, my strength. Gratitude. Gratitude mm -hmm. for everything. My health. Thank you for everything. And just don't say thank you. Embody it. I'm talking about put your love and your emotion to it. Say thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And that has taught me to love life even more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about it's about loving, right? Yeah, it is. It definitely is, for sure. Absolutely. And on the, the vibrational scale of feelings, I mean, we just mentioned love, but what is that top emotion that is the best to keep ourselves in a place of high, vib high vibration and high attraction of what's good, of what's positive, of what's loving? Well, you know, um, the highest vibration is love, but the second one is gratitude. Gratitude keeps you connected to source. Gratitude keeps you connected to everything that's good in your life. And when you train yourself to be in a constant state of gratitude, your life will transform in a way where you can't recognize it. Um, mm -hmm. Seriously, gratitude is probably the greatest tool you can use to transform your life from negative to positive. Yeah, yeah. I think I shared um, my, my story with you before, Sammy. Um, when I wake up in the mornings, and I usually wake up before everyone else for that quiet time, you know, and I would wake up and I would open up our the blinds to our kitchen window. And I would see this robin, you know, outside of the window, but I wasn't really paying that much attention to it, you know. But once I began to, you know, really meditate and do yoga and really try try to embody gratitude and, and just being grateful for everything around me, I began to thank God and I began to thank the universe for placing that bird, that that robin right there in front of my window. Small and things. so right. And so every morning I I wake up now and I'm looking for my robin because that is my robin. <laughs> that robin is for me. And you know, I am just just amazingly grateful for that robin to be able to wake up and open up my blinds and see that robin. It is, it's all about the small things. Uh, today, as I was walking, I live in Harlem, and Harlem in New York, you know, it's not posh, but it's New York, and yeah. there's people, and there's yeah. energy, and then there might be a liquor bottle on the ground, and there might be some trash, but then you hear the train go by, and you see a mom, like, with her stroller, and she's laughing, and, and the baby's smiling, and those small things, and I'm at high vibration, that's what keeps me going. It's not the money. It's not a vacation. It's the small things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, whatever you focus on expands in your life. Whatever mm -hmm. you focus on expands in your life. So, therefore, walking down the street, you notice the robins and the baby smiling. You will attract more things to make you feel mm -hmm. good. You know, um, so for us, it's important to focus on what you want. Focus on what you love. Exactly. That's the key. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, the second transformational tip is related to exactly what we're doing right now, speaking. Mm -hmm. How does the power of communication, how does communication and what we speak to, to each other, to the world, uh, to our bosses, to our mothers, to our lovers, to our children, how does that shift the power of attraction to work in our favor? 